Flea, what's up? How's it going, dude? Wades, have a good rest of your day. I will see you later, man. Uh, I feel like you're a bad omen, Maverick. Nah, it's okay, man. It, it's not even that big of a deal. We already had a mistake in that run, so... Uh, and the mistake was kind of annoying, so it's kind of a nice thing in a way. I feel happy that that happened secretly. All right, Gambit, you're next, GG. Yeah, it's very good practice, at least. Very, very good start compared to yesterday. I feel much more capable. Oh, but then again, that's not enough sometimes, so we'll see if that really matters. Yeah, so the raffle is for the character name. If you haven't been here before, you don't know how that works. I pick a character name from uh, anyone that's entered from chat, and if you win the run with a uh, personal best on that run, or you just get zero hits or zero damage, whatever the case is. If it's a speed run, if you get less time, then uh, you win a thousand points in chat. And that can be used for giveaways for raffle tickets and stuff. Branston, that shin, oh yeah. This, this is the Michael Jackson face been resummoned. <laughs> Do I know Sir Palo, Olaf? Uh, no. Who is Sir Palo? Only three months till Remastered comes out? Really? I guess, yeah, I guess February did fly by pretty quickly. Felt like a lot longer. Is anybody here, like, actually really excited to the point where they just can't wait that long? They feel like they're, like, anxious about it? Do I know Slipknot or Black Veil Brides? I've heard of Black Veil Brides. I do know Slipknot, yes. Uh, Remastered comes out on your birthday. Okay, no, no, yes. Oh, there's more no's than yes. Lucas, you're excited? Okay. Really hyped for Remastered? Nice, man. It's definitely not a bad thing. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Like, I'm sure for most people, their excitement will be well met because the things they want will be done, but... As long as you're not expecting things that aren't actually confirmed, I guess you're you're good. Excited to have it on the Switch for traveling purposes. Your roommate's excited because he's never played DS1. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. First time through DS1. Ah. Do I think they're going to make Sense Fortress easier? I doubt anything would be easier because of design changes, but maybe as a product of it being improved with performance. You never know. There could be some things that are just weird because DS Fix isn't uh, like an intentional thing from them. So it's it does make things behave uh, weird sometimes. I don't think it's going to change Sense Fortress too much, though. I don't know who Sir Palo is. Now it's got you wondering how many here knows Sir Palo. Who is Sir Palo? Backstab spam and HD peg. Yeah, I know, right? I hope they remove chain backstabs. That would be a very helpful thing for PvP. Because it basically... It ruins PvP in a certain way. Is DS1 harder than 2 stroke? I personally find it uh, harder, but it depends on what you're doing on it. I mean, there are ways to play it where it can be way easier, but it's mostly just like sorcery and stuff like that and putting yourself in like a glass cannon mode sort of thing which I guess if you don't know what you're doing you still die way easier but you can do a lot of damage Carolina make the game look so easy thanks man I appreciate that it's definitely not I just don't have uh the whole factor of I mean like it might just seem like it's easier as well because I'm not really like invested in the way where it's like whoa like i'm so scared that that happened or whoa like i'm having a heart attack i try to like keep myself calm because it's an advantage to just get stuff done right i could like emotionally invest and get super enthusiastic and theatrical but it's not worth it on this in my opinion 
So that might also add to that illusion, but it's definitely not easy. Otherwise, I think it would be done already. Fellow enemies. Enemies who follow you in DS2? Uh, yeah, enemies follow you in all the games. Average KB, what's up? How's it going? Thank you. Just be a Pyromancer, you win. Yeah, Sorcery, Pyromancy, and Miracles are pretty good. Okay, that was surprisingly nice. That was actually a really weird spot. I feel like most situations I get when I arrive at the fountain, they're all pretty good. Not super risky or anything, but they're different though. They're different they're they're different a lot, like a lot of the time. It's not really easy to get a similar case scenario on that. Uh where's spook located, odd? You buy it from the sorcerer that you bring back to Firelink that we will be rescuing soon. Or I guess not really even rescuing, but we'll We'll be inviting him back to the, the crib. Uh, Larry, it's going pretty good, man. How about you? How are you today? YouTuber and a streamer does animations and gameplay streams. Okay. Most known for his meme videos, which he screams a lot. So what kind of stuff does he do? What's the content based around? Like certain games or every game? Have I done Darkest Souls aggression mod for funsies? I've done Darkest Souls before, yes. Aggression mod I've never done though. I don't know if I had access to aggression mod when I did the Dark Souls, the darkest one. There's a video on YouTube though, I have like a... It's like Pitch Black Nameless King aside from Phase 2. But the first phase is like literally just Pitch Black. It's a little bit too dark, but I, I just didn't want to change the settings to have to beat him because I got pretty close, so I was like, why not just keep doing it. Orbeck of Vilheim. There you go. Did I hear the new Megadeth single? Also gonna see them. I didn't actually know they made a new single. I'll check it out, though. Wait, do you want to send it to me? Do you want to uh, give me the YouTube link in my whispers so I can see it? Meme scream videos. Rah! Re! Mostly does random stuff. Okay. Well, that probably would be more of the reason why I wouldn't know who he was. I, I don't really watch... Most of the YouTube stuff I watch has nothing to do with games, so it's kind of like... Um, I don't, I don't have like a go-to person that covers a variety of games or anything like that. And there's some Souls game people that I've like subbed to for like a long time that I'll catch stuff from every once in a while, like Body or Paragon or, you know, people like that. But it's, it's more of, um, one of those things where I think that it doesn't even recommend a lot of gaming related stuff for me as much as other things. So it's kind of... That. I probably would have heard of him really easily, though, if a lot of the stuff I watched was related to Let's Plays, reviews, everything like that. Uh, Direct, what's up, man? How are you? So you mean the true Lord of Hollows, Orbeck? Apparently, Orbeck is trying to link the first flame himself. So by you doing what you do, I wonder if you're, like, helping him get there sooner by giving him the, the, the souls and everything. Four sick, you gotta go to sleep, man. Alright, have a good rest, dude. I'll catch you later. Opinion on the new Good Tiger album? I actually don't even know who Good Tiger is. You gotta show me this stuff. Unless that's the name of an album of an artist, but yeah, I don't I don't think I've heard Good Tiger. New lore theory? <laughs> All those scrolls that he has are just maps of how to escape. The area where Sage is and get to Cinder. 
He's using you as like the funds. He's hit he's basically hitchhiking there. He is hitchhiking for the the trip to the kiln. He's like, hey man, I gotta sell some sorceries. You wanna buy some? You're like, oh sure, yeah, I need spook. That's a really good one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna charge you like two thousand for that. Oh sure, no problem. And then you go away. Ha ha, what a fucking scrub. Spook's only worth ten souls. Chump. And then uh, Andre points his hammer at Adam as he's leaving. The, he's like trying to sneak out of fire. Like he's like, I saw that. Orbeck's like, aw. Or back pulling in a Chandra. <laughs> yeah, Nishandra's pretty pretty shifty. You're trying to speed run the game, it sucks, Caroline. You're trying to speed run D Dark Souls 3 right now? Is there a particular category that you're doing? Wilhelm is Orbeck's dad? Maybe. How come there's no guy hiding in the bush over here this time? How did he how did the guy even get there? He's so far away. Uh, gamers, thank you for the good luck, man. I appreciate it. It's the guy from Safety Fire plus Elliot Coleman, Misha Sren. Uh, okay, I don't, I, I don't know who those are, who those people are. I know Misha, but I guess I didn't hear of that. I know that uh, him and Jake have had has like a they have like a side project, and then I think uh, Spencer has a project with like. Uh, I, I get one of them maybe or some or some other people. It's kind of like electronic mix-up sort of thing. It's pretty cool Can hit uh, no hit nameless King Kings wyvern But once you're on the second phase his delayed attacks are wiping you out. Oh, yeah, that's one of the hardest parts with uh, Phase two so there's so many attacks that look like the same attack, but they're not they're all different and they're, they, there's a lot of variation on the timing on it Um. Like, there's some big mix-ups of timing where there's some that are instant, and there's some that are so delayed. And then he's also got really fast back punishes, too, where if you get behind him, you could try to commit to a swing where it looks like he's still turning around, but then instead of turning around, he just, he spins and does, like, an overhead all at the same time. Uh, is a global moderator a full-time job by Twitch? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. I have no clue. I know that if you have a wrench beside your name, uh, then you're probably employed by them. You're most likely staff, but I don't think a global moderator is staff. I think it's just someone that takes on a bigger responsibility. They might get paid, I don't know, maybe. Devious dinosaurs dictate delicate decorative decisions devolving deeply down. Quickly quantifying quality queens quelling quagmires. Fragrant flowers flow forth from femurs. Horses hilariously howl hello haunting helpless hearts. Grapefruit. Wow. Depod. Fragrant flowers flow forth from femurs. What? Are you saying there's flowers blossoming out of someone's femur? How does that even make sense? Jeez, man. Thank you for the 19 months in a row in the poetry. Welcome back. How are you today, man? Babu Knots, welcome back as well. You have 40 more minutes and you gotta leave. Olaf. Okay, the goal is I gotta kill Dancer before you leave. Stupid question, where am I from, Cromag? That's not a, a stupid question. Uh, so I am from Canada. Appy, what's up? I dare you, this evangelist, to chase me. I dare you. So I really don't want to pick up this ember this time. Because then it doesn't allow you to space the attack of that guy on the left. So if there's one particular attack he does that's faster than the roll animation, then you're not gonna live. You're gonna or you're not gonna get out of there. You're gonna get hit. Because you have to roll the other attack as well. Win the game in ten. Ten minutes? I could probably pull that off. No big deal. We'll make it to uh princes in the next five anyways. Easy. I'm just gonna jump on the back of this guy and go for a little little adventure. I'll jump inside the pot on his back. Wait, is there even a pot on his back? No, there isn't. Where do they, where do they even get them from? They just pull them from nowhere? They just have a bunch of pottery up their ass or something? How's that work? No need to promote other streams in someone else's channel like that. It's pretty rude. Uh, I've said this before. If someone wants to promote themselves, uh, I try to warn you that that's not a good way to network and that you're hurting yourself. 
more than you're helping. So, you kind of dig in your own grave, in a way. It's, it's respect fully as I can say that. You're almost, you're digging your own grave. And it might not mean much, but later down the road, if that's a continued thing that you, uh, you acknowledge as an okay interaction or an o like etiquette, like it's okay etiquette to to go forth and do that, then you will probably be hurting yourself even more than you could if you're you're just beginning. So you you at least want to kind of get out of that whole mentality at some point, or just not even try to not work that way because it's it's very toxic in a way. And some people will ban you immediately. Um, I didn't even see the case of what we're talking about, but. Yeah, you don't want to... I'm not going to ban you. I'm not going to even... Like, there's no point of... There's no gain that I'm getting from removing you, but... You're not getting any gain from doing that necessarily either. Uh, considering you're breezing through the... Through what some could be considering one of the most difficult games ever made without getting hit. What is the hardest game I've played? Hardest game I've played is Wings of V, but I know it's not the hardest game in the world. And, uh... It's definitely up there. It's definitely one of the hardest games of all time, but... Uh, yeah, Wings of V is my, my number one, which I'd love to complete, but I also don't know if I want to bore you guys with tens of thousands of deaths over the span of weeks. So, yeah, it's not one of those games that I feel you just kind of dip into once in a while. It's kind of like you just straight up grind it till you beat it. And then you never touch it again, because why would you? It's literally evil. But it's actually fun, too. It's very satisfying. It's got a nice art style, really good music, and... That's why Solgrin is is just he's he's evil, man. He makes games like Bashi that are just terrifying, and they have no redeeming quality in terms of the design and atmosphere, really. But then he makes games that do have those qualities that are almost just as hard, and it ha it has this nice pretty package to it. And then you play it, and you're like, "What the hell is this? What human thought this was okay?" Oh, oh my God. Okay, that was actually like an enthusiastic heart attack moment. Uh, Takashi's Challenge Speedrun, what is that? Devil's Lettuce is the proper medical term, thank you very much. What game? Wings of V by uh, Saul Grin. Or I guess I think his company's called Grin Grinsoft. That's his, that's his studio name or whatever, but he makes all the stuff by himself from what I know. And he's really good at it. And he actually watched me play Wings of E the first time I streamed it for eight hours. And I was asking him, why? what value do you get of watching this pleb like me play your game? Why? I was so bad. It's fantastic. It's honestly something that if you're a masochist or like you, you have some sort of death wish or you hate yourself, then uh, you definitely have to play it. Or if you just want to spice things up and really understand what difficulty is, then definitely try it. Alright, um, yeah, so now we go back to Shrine, we get all the stuff, then we warp back to Road of Sacrifices. Dumb question, what is Monka S, Batbren? So Monka S is an emote. Uh, you can only see it if you have better Twitch TV, it's an extension that you can add on to your Chrome, or whatever browser you have. It allows you to see a bunch of other emotes that are particular to that software, and then also you can acquire some for your channel that can be used by anybody that's in that Ooh, channel at the time. It also allows other settings for the site Let's that make your experience better. So the world might be All that stuff. So the world might be but now I'm slowly realizing Franker Face C is much better than BTTV. Colpster has converted me officially. Uh, Tyler Cake, thank you for the brand new sub, man. For the first time in your feeble curse life. You have discovered the secret circle of the Skulluminati. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy being a skeleton, dude. I appreciate that, that's very nice of you. Why are you so nice? Why? Tell me. Have I ever played Caphead? Uh, you mean Cuphead? Yes. Cuphead is pretty awesome, man. I'll definitely play that game again. There's gonna be a point in time where I won't be able to survive unless I play it again, because I, I already miss it right now. Um... Fuse? Am I on PC or PS4? This is on PC at the moment. Nerdy, yeah, Wings of E, just, just whatever anyone typed in chat. Check that out. I've seen the light, now make us FFC admins. Yes, I will. Yes, sir. Can I do that from chat right now with the icon, or... Is there something else required? Do I have to go to, like, the main menu for it? Sponsored by FFC. Oh my god, now everyone's gonna just make fun of me for that. Sponsored content. 
Jeez. Getting getting hated on for taking fitting offers that actually make sense <laughs> for once. <laughs> Don't play or watch that card game that's so popular, but everyone but it's very cool how the game is interactive. Hearthstone. Oh yeah, Hearthstone is is uh, I think it's esports level, isn't it? I'm pretty sure there's competitions that have quite a lot of prize money behind them. Like I'm I'm pretty sure there is pro players of it. What is Squilluminati? That is the community that you enter once you are in the uh, once you are sub to the channel. You discover a secret circle, and the lore of that circle is unknown. But we do know that there is black magic within it that turns you into a skeleton. And uh, it used to be that it, it it basically once in time when it was more when it was more pure and not and, and unused when it wasn't used as much and it was in its infancy it would turn you into an edge lord and you'd get a hood and you'd get shades and you'd look really cool and you'd stare at people and they would see see scary things and you could you could you could be intimidating and all that but now because it's been used so much the powers have faded and you turn into a skeleton and then the rest is up to you to work your way up to, from a skeleton to an edgelord because it's been used way too many times and there's no way to recreate another one it's just it's the only one that's ever existed do I like memes I do some of them not every single meme but some memes do you mean RNG sports <laughs> yeah I was I was wondering what stops someone from just buying a bunch of packs to get the best deck and then win when it comes to Hearthstone or is there like a meta where you have to have certain things anyways because I was told that if you have a deck that's good and someone else has a deck that's good it comes down to RNG with uh, with what you draw pretty much like there's strategy but strategy isn't like the only aspect when it comes down to competition can I forget the Squilluminati? No I can't forget it and you can't forget it either it's forever gave up Hearthstone you're not paying $200 minimum every year to keep it competitive wait why would you have to do that is that some sort of subscription fee to it or is that for the the cards all right deck is a legend cs go as well purple edge lord hood for life oh yeah what fashion do you wear on normal playthroughs uh mm, i use the herald set on speed runs that's probably the only thing i can say i mean fallen night set or herald set usually would be the easiest because they're really easy to get and they have good defense i like the grave warden set the most but you have to farm to get that so on a playthrough that didn't have too many restrictions that was kind of chill i'd probably just end up using the herald set still or i wouldn't even wear armor i might just go go freestyle why you no kick onion bro you're right, I actually haven't been kicking him. I think it's because I'm afraid that if I fall from the spot where he's uh, sitting, if I do something weird with the kick and fall off, that I take fall damage there, I'm pretty sure I would. So I think I'm just being extra careful about that. Is the Herald set easy to get? Uh, I you had to farm for Herald? Oh, we're, we're talking about Herald set like with an E, not it with an A. So Herald set from the Herald class that you begin the game with or that you pick up after Sage. Not to be confused with the ones in the DLC. Like, not the, the butthole face guys with the machetes. The cards are so hard to farm without spending real money that you won't be able to get top decks. Oh, I see. So you have to pay to win in a way. Ends, how have you been, dude? What's up? Use this Fallen Night set because it's edgy. I use Fallen Night set so people can look at me and be like, you just played the game for like a couple hours and this is your first playthrough. And you suck. Okay, now we're gonna go back over here. Yeah, it's kind of weird they made two, two, uh, well, not enemies, but two sets of items that have the same name with one different letter. It's kind of weird. Maybe there's like more to the name than just Herald for the DLC guys, but yeah, that's it's definitely confusing. What made me decide to become a no-hit runner Super Zamboni? Uh, like, no-hit runs in general, you mean? Like, starting them? Uh, so basically, uh, Happy Hobhead tried to do the first no-hit run on regular DS1. And people that had watched Souls or played it were taking interest. 
and knew about it. And in the meantime, I was doing a lot of deathless playthroughs, and I had been no-hitting decent portions of the game, if not... I remember I no-hit the DLC a few times on DS1, and then people said, why not just do a DS1 no-hit run like Hob and do it before him? And then... I said that I wouldn't wouldn't do a DS1 no-hit run, but when DS3 came out, I would try it because everyone wanted to see it, and then I ended up liking it a lot, and decided to keep, keep doing them. Because it was definitely the greatest challenge that I had done at that point. But uh, mainly just recommendations and stuff, and people wanting to see more people do it. I don't know, I might have not done them if, if no one was super interested, but... Eh, I mean, I might have anyways, because I, I just... Like doing a lot of different challenges. Uh, nice to be here for my first playthrough. <laughs> Eldel, what's up, man? Welcome back. And yet again, we don't have the purple moss. Still making the mistake of that. How long is it going to take? Azerlos, that's going pretty good, dude. How are you? Butthole fat asses. I didn't say that. I said faces. They're just big bone. Don't say that. You play solitaire every day on your computer, what you talking boot? Solitaire used to be so fun. And and that's that crazy space pinball thing on Windows. Oh my god. That's like my first game. Or wasn't really my first game ever, but I think it was the first game I played that like I owned that I could play whenever before actually owning any kind of games myself, like actual consoles or other things. Uh, why don't you use a camera unless you're streaming with other people, just personal preference? Uh, it's kind of just like the way I like to do it, yeah. The immersion, and I don't want people watching me to look at me, I want them to watch for the content. And the problem is you can't separate that aspect without controlling uh, the, the fact that you have a camera versus that you don't. And obviously if it's when I'm offering more uh, insight to how something's being done, like showing a control method or we're doing like the multiple people one controller thing i have to make the sacrifice in that way because otherwise i wouldn't be able to do those kinds of runs it wouldn't make any sense to not do them with the camera so only when it's necessary because there is definitely times where it's it's needed to complement something um and that's that's basically it windows pin yeah space pinball was so fun will i play remastered ds fuse ah uh, I think it's going to come down to if they give it to me before it comes out, then I'll play it because I'll have uh, they'll they'll have given me it and I won't obviously turn that down. But if it's the case where I don't get any early access and I am planning to get it on release, I'm going to see if it's worth getting by watching people play it or just looking at the information they give um, because. I don't want to get a game that's the exact same. If, if it has absolutely no bug fixes on it, if there's no problems fixed with it, then there's no difference from DS fix to me. It wouldn't it wouldn't matter too much. If they do improve things that would make runs more smooth to play and stuff better and, and all that, then I'm I'm super excited because I've wanted a lot of the things to be fixed for so long already. You know, it would be awesome for them to finally fix some of those things. So an example would be like. Uh, they fix ONS, you know, they fix the problems with Ornstein. That's amazing. That's that's a huge reason, in my opinion, even though it's a small detail, it's a huge thing because it saves you so much stress in runs and it's a lot more controllable with skill instead of just being glitchy and all that. Uh, if they fix, um, like offering humanities in excess to save you time, you know, that's a big deal for any percent runs where you have to do that kind of stuff. If they... Um, you know, make hitboxes better. That's a big deal. If they make, I don't know, if they just make like all those tiny bug fixes improvements, there's so many little things that can make the game a lot better without really being the biggest deal to everyone. But for people that are like into that stuff. Has FromSoft given you stuff before? FromSoft doesn't give stuff to people necessarily. It's usually the um, uh, Namco Bandai that does. And, uh, no, I've actually, I don't think I've ever inquired uh, anything from Namco Bandai in the past, like for previous releases or anything, so. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't have a reason to like track me down, but they have, they have, um, I think they flow, they they flew uh, Peeve, Lobos, and Ouroboro. Wait, no, Peeve, Lobos, Ouroboro, RB Frosty, and I think Bearsley, maybe? Or no, Barnese, maybe? Uh, like all the soul brand people and like recognized soul content creators they flew they flew them to like the hq to test ds3 before it came out and all that stuff 
So, I mean, sometimes they reach out to people like that. Do you have any speculations on Shadows Die Twice? Uh, I just hope it's a new IP. That's my only wish. What's the problem with Ornstein and Smo? Ornstein has an attack where it doesn't actually telegraph or animate properly. So his animation will go from attacking to standing still, and he won't move, and then he'll cut into an animation where he's attacking him without any kind of startup frames. So there's no actual way to deal with it. You literally just have to guess. Or be lucky. Yeah, there's no skill involved at a certain point unless you give yourself enough space to let him glitch out until he actually goes back into a proper animation again. So he could be standing still beside you and then you instantly just got attacked and there's nothing you could have done. It was it was impossible to see. Because he just he just instantly starts he's already in an attack from being idle. Uh, and that being fixed is a big deal. It's a very big deal. Petition to get me to test DS4 before release. Uh, well, at this point now, I mean, I'm not going to, like, claim they would ever do that, but if they were going to select people that were Souls content creators to go and do things like that, I'd probably have a better chance now than I did before, but I doubt that I would be number one priority. Definitely not. Uh, Jay Davey, what's up? How's it going? Also, I don't even know if I would do that. I might not accept that if they offered. The only thing Bandai's offered me is a ticket to... Uh, like an entry, like a media pass kind of thing to go to their game show where they're unveiling all the 20, I think it was the 20, was it 18 stuff or 17? I think it was last year after the summer, they were trying to show off all their new games, all the new stuff coming out. And they gave me um, a, they uh, like an offer that if I wanted to go there, they just needed some information and I could go over there. But I don't do media reviews of stuff. I'm not a reporter. I'm, I'm not like an IGN person. I'm not someone like that. And I don't have a personal channel that I document uh, E3 events or, you know, PAX or TwitchCon. Any of those, like, things I don't document. So it wouldn't fit what I was doing. But that was something they did reach out to me for that I didn't care about. That I wasn't really interested in in the first place. So that was cool. Uh, sad thing, they won't port remaster the DS3 engine. Only texture update. Mm, I don't think they could easily port DS1 onto the DS3 engine. I think they'd have to remake the game then, right? That would be less of a remaster. Lord Noth, what's up? How's it going? Happy to see you strum. I am strumming hard for you there. I got all the strums. Uh, Andy, what's up? Anfa, if you're going to bed, have a good night, dude. I will see you later. 20 minutes left for you to defeat Dancer. Good luck. I hope I can do it. We've been going kind of slow, but maybe. You never know, man. Okay, let's uh, let's pop the Blossom first. Yeah, that worked decently well. Can you yeet really quick? Yeet. Yeet is a hard thing to say. I don't know why. Yeet. Ye yeet. Yeet. I don't know. How many runs have I done of this cheese balls? I'm not sure how many attempts, but this is day three, so. Three streams of it so far. Uh, Zabulin, I'm doing good, man. How are you today? Welcome back. Uh, Boo, what's up? Am I saying that right, by the way? Is the GH just silent? Hey, Strummer, can you yeet real quick? Strum. I don't know why I read that twice. I thought you said... <laughs> I thought you said, can you strum real quick? And I already read that. Wow, I'm, I'm just silly. Oh, wait, you know what? wonder if I'll die if I take this stuff off. Ooh, that's close. That's so close. Okay. I like how I associate dying without even actually having to die in the game anymore. I say dying if it's going to be a hit, literally, or just any damage is death. Uh, King, thank you for gifting Fuse on Hostage, a brand new sub. Fuse, you have discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati with the help of King is Dead. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy being a skeleton, dude. Try man plus yeet together. Yeet man, man yeet. 
How do you even make the expression yeet? Like, I know how you could like cheer and you could be like, woo, like, whoo, like something like that. But how do you, how do you say, I don't know. I don't hear people saying that shit, so I don't know how it would sound. Like, does anyone actually do that? Maybe it's like, okay, like on occasion, depending on what the circumstances are. Zabu, when you had a long day at work, well, you made it, you survived. And now I will grant you access to the most exclusive and premium ladder climbing simulator while poisoned. Well, not exactly poisoned, but almost. Swagger Souls. Uh, does Fuse on Hostage mean what I think it means? Doesn't sound like the nicest name, but hey, who knows, man. Some pipe, sometimes people don't have the nicest names and they're the nicest people. Makasante, the ladders, yeah. The mirror armor. The mirror armor apparently is very good for poison resistance. So that is why I'm using it. It's sort of like an ah yes. Ah yeet. Ah yeet. I don't know. I feel like I'm just, I'm saying it without expressing it enough. I'm not like making a sound that sounds like yeet. It's more of just a, I'm pronouncing the word. You refer to most of your friends as Mayit, Manyit, Mayit. <laughs> That's so weird, man. But it's cool that you have your your thing, right? As long as I don't like, I don't know, show up one day and everyone's communicating with random frequencies and sounds like, like if you if you're all talking to each other like that in chat, but like typing it, that's uh, that's a problem. I'll probably have to uh, ban everyone. Any clue when DS1 Remastered will be available for pre-order? It already is, I'm pretty sure. I think you can find it on Amazon. I saw it on there when I was pre-ordering Shadow, so it's definitely there. You eat it at the podium. Click a plaque, chi chi chiki. <laughs> okay, Final Flame. That's just a bunch of letters with like kek 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 and papa at the end. Kek papa. All right. Uh, what is the plan? We're selling. Oh no, we already got the embers. Let's let's get off the armor first. Let's do that. Don't like you anymore, Honor. Why would I not like you anymore? I feel like you're you're just harassing me and teasing me too much. It's not nice, man. I'm fragile. That that stuff is meaningful to me. I think about those things. I might just be like, yeah, whatever, and then like, I'm like, is there nobody around? In my in my head, I'm thinking to myself, like, is there anyone there? No. <laughs> Arno called me a bad person. <laughs> and then I just keep crying and rocking back and forth until I fall asleep from my own tears because I can't breathe anymore because I've ex hyperventilated so much I just pass out, you know? <laughs> and then boom, just falls asleep. Don't cry, you're a good person. Uh, oh. Arno is going to push me to the limit. He doesn't realize how much words hurt, man. Sticks and stones will break my bones and words will break them even harder. It's the, the, the words will eviscerate them into it'll, it'll turn into dust and then nothing. German probably has a word for every situation. Yeah, that's that's one cool thing about other languages. There's different ways of of expressing things uh that are that's very particular to that language and that maybe even English could not really do the same way. I wish I wish I knew some other languages. But then again, like, knowing them fluently wouldn't really be the biggest deal unless I was going to be in those places a lot, you know? Or I was interacting with people in that language, which I would never want to do on stream, but but yeah. Where's the cutoff point for starting over? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of just rolling with the punches on this and seeing what happens. I would say I'd love to make it to Deacons without taking a hit, but only because the last run we did... Uh, I had one that was definitely avoidable. Very, very easy to solve that problem. I just, I didn't, I don't know. I thought it was a good idea. It wasn't the best idea. There's one other idea that I had that I was going to try after that one. 
but there was no reason to try at first because what I had done, I could have still gotten away with not getting hit most of the time. It just wasn't foolproof, so there's no point of doing it anymore. Like I said, one thing doesn't work, you don't do it any anymore. Unless there's no other option. Do I speak French? No, I don't. Uh, Obergrupper for her. Not sure what that is. Sounds like a big word. You can teach me Russian or Lithuanian. If you want to throw out some words once in a while, definitely. Definitely, man. Uh, time to clock out and head home. See you in a while, fam. Tokare, I'll see you later, dude. GG's on the... on the work. Meanwhile, everyone just knows that you were just looking at the Michael Jackson face of my character laughing. Like, hey, what's that guy doing in the corner over there? He's like, definitely not working. He's watching some stream. It's like, oh, actually, I'm watching that too. It's like, oh yeah, you see that part with the memes? Yeah, I remember. Siblings is a great word. Jack, what's up, dude? Good question. Why don't you do Abyss Watcher's strat so you don't take any damage? Do the Abyss Watcher's strat. Wait, what? Oh, you mean the the skip for Abyss Watchers? Is this on current patch, Flame? Yes. Everything that I do is on current patch right now. Uh, I might have to change the patch backwards to whatever version SL1 is on right now, but I'm, is, is any, does anybody know if SL1 speedruns on this are on current patch? So I'd love to not have to change it. I personally prefer to just stay on the same one the entire time. Uh, decosting, what's up? That extra hit after the backstab, a little slap on the butt, oh yeah. <laughs> it actually kind of looks like a slap too. Rapscallion's a great word? Yes, it is. Same with scallywag. Jordy, what's up? It's an illusion, man. You're only here when things are going well, that's why. Is this zero glitches? Yes. Unless you want to complain about me jumping up the tree to the roof as a glitch, which I don't agree with, but... you want to, If you want to have some ammunition and be that guy that's like, Hey, you just glitched the game right there. <laughs> I, uh, that's the one part of the game where people commonly like to point fingers for no reason and then look kind of silly, but... There you go. Seven minutes, Olaf. Dude, I almost actually could make it to the answer. I think we'll probably have Walnir killed by the time you're done, so we'll just be starting Smoldering Lake, roughly. 
You just skipped Madeir? It's like the tree was put there on purpose. Uh, I mean, even if it wasn't, they apparently acknowledge that it does exist and they know of it, and they didn't fix it, they didn't patch it, so it's obviously not broken. Even if it was something that was unintentional from the get-go, it's intentional now because they, they made a comment on it. And there is no urgency to remove it, so there you go. But I still think that it is intentional. For other reasons, but... We've spoke about it before. Oh, I need to use a black fire bomb again? Okay, I cannot miss this one. The tree glitcher, zero skill run. Yeah, you did tree jump, you're obviously bad. No point of even trying, just stop. You suck, you did the tree glitch. The funny thing is, it really doesn't offer too much more to the run, so even if you took it out of the run, I don't see what people would even want to complain about if they thought it was some sort of insane advantage. It really isn't that big of a deal. You know, this isn't too good. Fruit Polos, what's up? How's it going, man? Okay, you're just chilling right there. Ho! Oh! oh boy. Bless FromSoft not patching the tree. Yeah, it's cool that they didn't do that, but still, I mean... Uh, I... Huh, I don't know. It's weird, it's weird to, like, have... A gripe with that. I don't understand what would make you salty about that being a thing. Like, <laughs> and it was people that weren't even like playing DS3. It was Bloodborne speedrunners that were that were complaining. Apparently, I was like, how is that even relevant? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I feel like people are entitled to say that someone else's personal pursuit is incorrect. Too often, it's like worry about yourself, you know. Especially when it comes to something that's not even really needing to be debated. You're missing the point in the complaining. A lot of the time it's complaining itself. It's the goal. True. It's too obvious and FromSoft paid attention to details. Yeah. Eating those shards, you can't get anywhere else until NG plus 7. Yeah. But, no, there's there's other ways to get the shards. You can get the... I know where to get the extra chunk. The, the, ex, the extra chunk is pretty simple. It's a little bit riskier, but you can get it. And the extra large shard you also can get as well. Uh, you'd have to probably go into DLC 1, or you would have to pick up one somewhere else that's a little bit more risky, but yeah. Edgy dabs on the character or myself? By the way, welcome back, man. Oh. Gotta do that just in case. Do I ever think Bloodborne will come to PC? I doubt it, just because uh, Sony owns the rights to it, so uh, it would be a disadvantage for them to release it on the PC. They wouldn't really be uh, banking on that idea. And if the contract was um, somehow allowing for them to get another third party to publish it, like so Sony wouldn't be the publisher anymore, it would be a, another company, they'd probably have to redo parts of the game or like remake the game somehow. Um, that's, that's what I've heard when it comes to the process that it would take to do that if it was possible, but, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Sony's decision, and I don't see how they would have an advantage by doing that. It's almost like most exclusives, like, why would you bring Halo to PS4? Or, 
PS3 or PC. Well, PC because of Microsoft, yes, but I don't know. Same kind of idea as that. Like, why would you bring it to the Sony platform? Any tips uh, which buffs to use for Osiris? I would say Lightning is good. You can also use Bleed, but um, yeah, Lightning is the best, 100%. Was I born and raised in the land of maple syrup? Yes. Every baby that's born in Canada is covered in maple syrup. Actually, I think there's a statistic where a certain percentage of your skin itself, there's like a layer of skin that still is some of the maple syrup from when you were born. That never actually goes away. Pretty weird. Uh, are me and Faraz friends in real life? He lives uh, across Canada. He lives a, a lot further away than than um, some of the other Canadian streamers I know. But, I mean, at some point we'll probably hang out. He got invited to the trip that we went on recently, but he wasn't able to come. So, uh, the next time we do that, you guys got to encourage him to do it. Unless he's got other plans, you got to just be on him in his chat and tell him, you got to go, you got to go. Because we're trying to organize a thing where the next time we get more soul streamers to join us... So, potentially Zeus, uh, K. Witty, Faraz. If Hob wanted to actually fly across the world, he could probably join too. I mean, you know, as long as there's enough space, like, I think that it would be fun to do something like that. Is Walnir the easiest boss? Uh, pro pretty much. Pretty much, yes. He can do things that are really difficult to avoid, but uh, when done on this run, like that fight that we had right there is pretty fun. It was, it was all right. Where's Hob from? Uh, he lives in northern England, I think. So he would have to make the biggest trip for that. Uh, Darius, yes. Uh, smoldering, you weren't lying. All right, I'll see you when I can. Good luck. Yeah, I did say I was. I would make it to smoldering. I had a pretty good time frame, but we also didn't have to uh, homeward bone for Walnir. So that's another thing that, that uh, would have made made it a little bit longer. K. Woody would have to travel a fair ways too from Indiana. Uh, I feel like it would still take Faraz longer to get here than K. Woody. Maybe maybe almost the same. I think it's almost. Eh, maybe not. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they were able to, then I think it'd be worth it. I think it gives us more options with what kind of crazy things we could do if there's people that were also experienced with souls, and then there's people that were really good at Bloodborne, too. Uh, you're eating a hamburger with a knife and fork, fight me. Okay, I have had pizza many times with a fork and knife, but I have never eaten a burger with a fork and knife that I can recall. I cannot recall any time in life doing that, so I gotta try that one day. Tony the Skeleton returns. No, that was Frederick, actually. Frederick, you can tell he's kind of silly because all he does is runs into walls and gets trapped in the corner. He can't even escape me. Tony actually has a little bit of style. He tries to uh, flex on me a little bit with his flick of the wrist Falchion moves and doesn't easily give up. He likes the he 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 fights the good fight. He's in it for the duel. And and Frederick's like, eh, I don't really want to go to work today. I'm just gonna chill in the cave right now. Oh no, now I gotta go and chase this dude because he's escaping. Walnir told me to. Then he's like, ah, oh, Walnir's dead anyways, he's not gonna care. Little did he know that was his downfall, for I was the victor, and I destroyed him. You've eaten cereal with a fork. That bothers me a little bit. I don't like the idea of a soup or a cereal being eaten. Anything with liquid in it with a fork. Unless you were drinking the the broth of the soup later, or the, the milk maybe, but still. I guess you you do what you do. If that's how you prefer the cereal, maybe it tastes better that way. 
I doubt it, but maybe. Maybe it does something extra for you. Alright, good timing on that. You've eaten a knife with a fork? <laughs> Oh, uh, you've ever had those situations where you bite down with your front teeth on a fork? Oh man, I hate that so much. Have you ever been to Banff? Uh, no. I don't believe so. I know of the, the place, though. If you eat Fruit Loops with a fork, you can save milk for your second bowl. That's a good strategy. That's a good one. Uh, what's it feel like to be a streamer if someone gave you a million dollars but you should stop streaming? Would you accept the offer? No. No, I would stream even if I didn't do it as a job still. Uh, just not the same amount of hours. I would always stream regard. Anytime I would play a game, I'd stream it no matter what. Um, that's the whole reason I had to start streaming is because I just wanted to make games a different experience and engage more people other than just me and random people. Um, and maybe learn from it, you know? Grow from it in some way with the game or just outside of that, so... That was my my goal of like how I wanted to stream in the beginning, but I didn't even think that I'd continue. Like there's many times where I thought I'd quit, so it wasn't super like it wouldn't have been a big deal. I'm not trying to make it seem like, oh, it wasn't working. I'm so sad that I didn't grow. It's like I just didn't think it was that important at that time because it wasn't really a, a goal. I didn't look at it the same as I do now because I didn't have the experiences to kind of, you know, um, go with and I didn't know anybody so I there, there's no uh, grounds for why I sh should want to or what it can you know what I can offer to somebody else or what they can teach me whatever it's kind of one of those things you have to just be immersed in other communities or like have other experiences yourself to understand that but I didn't so I was I was definitely content with quitting many times um but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't quit if someone told me. I wouldn't take a payment to quit. I wouldn't take a payment for anything. If someone likes the content, they want to do that, then that's insane. I've said before, if someone even did something that crazy, I'd have to make an agreement with them, like a written agreement that's signed and everything, where I could take it and I could put as much of it as I want to into other people that I believe deserve it, and also maybe other organizations and stuff like that, aside from like personally taking it, because it wouldn't really matter to me. It's, it's definitely not important. Uh, it's not going to change anything I'm doing, so. Gold. Uh, the run's going pretty good, man. Pretty good. We're going to get all the stuff right now, I think. Okay. Texas is a state. Yes, it is. Until you're being genuine in saying that. Well, I think most people that stream would say that. I'm, I'm sure anyone that tells you otherwise would honestly be joking around. I don't think they could seriously say that. Otherwise, I don't see how they would be an established streamer that has experience uh, with that mentality and it works for them. I don't think that would be, that would be really uh, unlikely in most cases. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty understandable if you're in the position you understand, you know. Because there's many people that probably wouldn't enjoy streaming, but they like watching them, and I can understand that too. I originally was kind of in that realm where I just watched streams here and there, but I didn't consider doing it. Have I managed to do a hitless SL run so far? We've done an, a hitless SL1 run before, yes. Um, that's why it's time for the no damage. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Uh, actually did get a run yesterday. You had to go to sleep before anything happened. Yeah, we had a lot of struggle in the beginning of the stream, man. And I, I was saying, it's just the curse carrying over from the day before, and you can tell now. Um, I mean, I don't think I'm playing that much better, but I still, like, I'm getting through the beginning so much smoother. We haven't had as nearly as many resets, and nothing's that different. It's just like, there's those days that are just rough, so. It was rough, but then it, it improved quite a bit towards the end, and we got a three-hit PB. Uh, Neuros, thanks for the two months, man. Welcome back. How are you doing today? What level am I for Dancer? I'm level one right now, Lim. This entire run is uh, level one.
Hoping they go smooth, Neuros. I hope so too, man. I, I can't take these chances I'm getting for the starts of the run for granted now. I feel like that's another uh, skill that I got to work on or another like perspective of putting more importance in the fact that I got out of the early game because the early game is rough on this one. It's a bit different. It's it's kind of more, it's more important to take that opportunity and not screw it up. So I need to keep reminding myself of that on top of all the other stuff. Do I know the AVGN? What is that? A fan of Toronto sports teams, you assume you live there. I don't I don't live in Toronto. Um, I have seen um, sports before of teams and stuff like that around here, but or around like the GTA in general. But I'm not really a sports fan. I'm not into well, I'm not into like traditional sports necessarily. Um, so yeah, not like the. The standard ones like the tennis, the baseball, basketball, soccer, stuff like that. I have enjoyed some of the World Cups before, but I haven't watched one since, uh, I don't know, like two of them ago or something like that. So it's been a while. Hockey, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, not my jam, doesn't really do much for me. Used to be an arrow butt stream fighting Madeira SL1. <laughs> Cute, welcome back. How are you doing? I have something to message you, by the way. Um, so, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta talk to you about something really quick. But I'll, I'll message you after. Hopefully your day is going well. Try climbing. Uh, you try once and you can't stop thinking about hanging. Try climbing. Like rock climbing? Is that what you mean? Have seen sports around the area? Well, I think I've seen like an Argonauts game before. I'm pretty sure I went to one. Um, I've seen... I've been to like an NHL game before. It was like uh, Sabres versus New York or something like that. The Islanders, whatever it was. Home opener, 2004. Got free tickets for it. Um, didn't really like it. It wasn't really that cool. And that was actually when I was more into that kind of stuff. Like, Like, I wasn't as opposed to sports and everything, but... I mean, it's not even that I'm opposed to them now. So they don't really value me because I'm not into playing them. For me, I need to be like one an athlete in one of those sports to want to watch them. You know, if I was athletic in any of those things, I would want to be watching it for advice and for, you know, like improvements and, you know, seeing someone else do it better than I can. But if I'm not, if I have no interest in playing them, then it's not going to do anything for me. So I'm not in, I'm not in it for the fandom or the hype, really. Scythe, what's up? How's it going? There is there is definitely some things that are really fun to play though. Hundred percent. Like Um Feel the same way you did yesterday? Oh well I'm sorry about that. I will try to change it. Cause I know saying sorry is not enough. It's not like it's gonna change anything with me saying anything, but uh I'll try taking your mind away from the bad or the, the bad things. Sabres game would make most people dislike hockey. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with the teams, like... Some people, obviously, are fans of different stuff, different teams, but... It was more of, like... It wasn't just, like, a shitty game, necessarily. It was it was NHL. It was, like, official. It wasn't, like, a lower division or anything. It wasn't, like, a recreational game. It was, it was important. People put importance into it. It just wasn't really... Like, I don't know, it, I, if I can't get along with the hype of just the environment and the energy, and I can't, like, put myself in the shoes of the person and be like, oh, I have the similarities of liking the athleticism of the sport, then it's, there's, there's no redeeming qualities, I'm not growing as a person, I'm not learning anything from it, I'm not, it's not helping me do anything. So, to, like, really be into it and watch any time there's a game on, or even just casually put it on, I, there's something else I could watch that might actually still expand my mind a little bit more than that because I can't put those things into practice myself if I'm not really into that stuff. Some people definitely are just there for the hype too. They don't care about the sport that much. And uh, yeah, it's hard for me to invest in hype of things that aren't like pursuits of mind or something that I really can understand on that level. 
the same thing with games. Like, I can't watch mostly all of the competitive games in, in general. Except for Evo, there's some, there's some games at Evo where it's like, I've played them before in the past, or like, I... I can understand a lot about them, and they have similarities in, in the, the mind games and like the approach where it can be applied to other things, and I like the thinking and stuff that's going on and decisions. But because there's the physicality aspect to the sports, it's like, that's a bigger component in my opinion than the mental components. Even though the mental components are there, you, again, you're physically seeing representations of things happening rather than someone making decisions and it manifesting in a result just by your thoughts. And all that so it's it's harder for me to get in that stuff and it's the same with again competitive game most of the stuff with competitive game i can't watch either it's just, it's just not uh not my thing but if i ever decided to play one of those games i probably would benefit from seeing that because it would help me that's fair yeah definitely don't want to like make anyone feel bad for like in sports but not playing them or you know whatever your reason is you, everyone has their reasons but i need mine to be justified by one of those uh did from even bother keeping equipment durability things almost never break in ds3 you can break things but you have to use i think you have to use the weapon arts on the, the special weapons and stuff a little bit more stuff like that Street Fighter at the highest competitive I'm level is intense. To yeah. Like clip God, clip God. All my people from the front to the back nod, back nod. Hue, hue, hue. But even with Street Fighter, it's like I'm not, I'm not gonna play Street Fighter on that level. So I'm not taking it. I'm not super immersed in it. I'm not a super fan of it. But once in a while, seeing it when Evo was around, coming around and stuff, you, the mental display is one of a kind and is something that you can appreciate even if you have no interest in games like just the the way that you have to think and adapt quickly and basically get inside someone else's head to the point where you're you're forcing them to ha have habits or or re react or do things in ways to benefit yourself you there's like a manipulation level in it as well that is aside from any of the the game that's going on but that's interesting to me uh, Toothless, thank you for the four months in a row. Welcome back, dude. I appreciate it. Beginning to feel like a clip god. Oh, you have the clip champ thing. Wow. So, okay, you you tell me. Does it does it mention when you make the clips or when you get that badge why you got it? Is it for trending clips or is it just for the most views on one clip you've made? How does it work? Uh, we already have enough of these, right? All right, I'm sh I should be fine. Should all be good. Return to the scene of the crime, uh, except for technically I did the other part right this time. So we've we've we got a distance PB on this right now. Anzi, what's up? You've only had a weapon nearly break on a normal playthrough. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten close to having something break on this. You know, there's computer competitive Super Smash. Oh yeah, I've seen the Smash at Evo as well. But again, I'm not. I'm not a super fan of it, where I'd watch every single match, or most of it, or be like, hey, that's the first thing I think of when I think of EVO. Um, and I'm not watching Smash and stuff outside of EVO that much. I've, I kind of inform myself on it enough to understand why it's important and stuff, and what's, be, what's going on, so I can look at it and know why it's cool for that reason, rather than just thinking of it as, oh, it's a party game made by Nintendo. Obviously, there's a lot more going on than, than that, but I understand that. Um, and I have I have watched it. There's some informative videos on it and stuff like that. They kind of explained it, but well, yeah, it's pretty impressive, man. Playing on PC or actual Xbox, uh, Tyler. I am on PC at the moment. Didn't know Rocket League was esports. Yeah, Rocket League is competitive too. That's a little bit of a like a more interesting one though because the game's kind of a funny concept, but yeah, it is it is definitely there as well. Like anything that has a balance that can be played at a higher level, you know, that has that interest, I think could be there. So it's it's hard to make things balance well though, and that's what I was saying to um, 
to crystallize games. So there's a developer uh, at both. I, w I went to two different events where they were uh, demo demoing their new release. This guy just keeps interrupting me with the stupid soul. I'm trying to speak. Jesus, man. Okay, so basically they were demoing their their game, uh, Relic Raiders, that they're trying to be make an esports title. And I was telling them like one of the we were discussing how important it is for the balance and how hard it is to get it just right where esports will kind of pick up on that and people want to make it competitive and popular. But um, as long as it has those those elements in it, you know, uh, you can make things that are not even the most complicated ideas, but can be really cool for competition. Uh, why not using Colby strats? Because I, the thing is, I'm still getting used to trying to do them that way. Um, so when I was looking at the tree and I went over the far side, I was trying to think of doing that method, but I picked the wrong tree instead because I haven't done it enough times. So I was still confused about it for a moment. And that's why I almost got screwed there. I was actually thinking of that and trying to do it. That's that's why it was weird. Otherwise, I would have just gone straight through. Yeah, the fire resin has, or the charcoal pine bundle has literally just enough damage. My god. It's like just enough. The lightning one definitely does a lot more, you can tell. Like, I have some wiggle room at the end. It's crazy though. I wonder what the numbers are on it, because it looks like it's almost not going to do enough and it's just perfect. Interesting to see how routes of speedrunners and no hit runners. No hit damage runners use. Oh, like the difference between them? Yeah, man. There is there's some giant differences between speedrunning and this. That's why I had to start speedrunning to understand it, because uh, I wanted to gain the benefits of knowing how to speedrun and do this. But unfortunately, the no hit runs are not transferable to speedruns. It's more vice versa, you know? It's more of you can transfer some of the knowledge from speedruns to this. But not all of it, though. Do you not use the stamina regen shield, boss? I don't use any shields on this run at all for anything, though. Okay, so... Throwing the skull first again this time. Spook it. He doesn't aggro the skull until you, you go into his aggro range yourself, though. That's the weird thing with that. I don't get how that works, but... You have to aggro him from your position to make him see the skull, even though it's within his, it's, it's within his range the entire time. After how many tries did you do the first zero hit run in DS3? How many tries? Uh, I don't know how many attempts, but it was oh, probably a month and two weeks, a month, a month and a half roughly of, of attempting. Well, that was also, that wasn't just attempting, that was actually creating the run itself, like from nothing. So making the methods to be able to do the run along with a bunch of other people, you know. Of course it pulled the dog. Oh my. Oh my. I don't know how that guy somehow, like, what what lets him allow, what gives him the right to see me there? Not only was I tiptoeing, I didn't run normally, and I had spooks, so if I did do that, he shouldn't have seen, he must have seen me somehow. He must have somehow had a gigantic range of view, or field of view. What the hell, man? Black Rez, what's up? How's it going? Did I beat SOTC Gabibi? Yeah, man. Me and Faraz are going to be doing a race on uh, Saturday against each other, so it'll be like our second playthrough. Unless, of course, we decide to practice a bit before then uh, together. Like, I might do that. We'll see, but we'll, we'll have even experience on it, and we'll see who gets it done faster, and also just for practice overall. It'll be pretty cool. I think it'd be more fun if we didn't practice, because then we'd have to use the strats we used on our first playthrough, but then, like, learn from them. So, uh, it'd be it'd be exciting to do. Cramarn poop in pants. Oh yeah, poop outside of pants and inside everywhere. That's scary.
one from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Uh, have you seen Prepare to Die Again mod on DS1, Res? Yes, man. I'm going to be playing that. I'm actually really excited Soul to do that. The lost, withdrawn from its best that actually might be the only casual Let's thing that I'm really looking forward to. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. How to know hit DS3. Step 1. Don't get hit, profit. <laughs> If you want to do a no-hit run, should you do zero death first? That would help. Any other experience you have playing the game that's beyond the regular would help, to be honest. Nothing nothing hurts. So SL1, basically not leveling the character and picking Deprive from the beginning could help you a lot with the boss fights. No death would help you with the, the concentration and like having to achieve that goal of not dying for an extended period and all that. But... Um, you could also just go right into no hit runs if you wanted to. It's just going to take you longer to probably get that number down. But then again, it could be still the same time frame that it takes you to do the deathless and all that, then go into no hit runs. So it's up to you. Uh, Notorious LRG, thank you for the brand new sub, man. For the first time in your feeble cursed life, Notorious, you have discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati. Enjoy your remotes. Enjoy being a skeleton. Also, that's a good name, by the way. Is it based off the clothing, or is it just... Uh, a nice little pun. Uh, mindless, thank you for the four months in a row. Welcome back. I do not get hit in DS3. Step one, don't get hit. Profit. There you go. Yeah, if you just if you want to do a no hit run, just don't get hit. It's so easy. Okay, he did the early attack right there, meaning we got to jump down, which is fine. That giant's looking really mean right now. I'm not so sure about him. I've always wondered what the max range he can walk is, and then what the max range he can attack at with the mud would be. And if it's the same as the max range that he can walk, because... If he could attack from there, there would be no way I could, I could avoid it without just getting lucky, since I can't look back once I'm already in that spot. But he's never done it though, so I, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but it might be, it might be fine. All right. Uh, I guess we'll take off the staff. Have I done Demon Souls run, Surge? I've played Demon Souls on stream before, uh, mostly just casually, and then we had this marathon where we, where we had these uh, unlocks that you guys could basically achieve by uh, whenever somebody subbed um, or like. If there was bits or whatever, it would unlock a challenging modifier where uh, you could have three active at one time, and I did the entire uh, series of Souls games. So that was the most challenging Demon Souls run I did. We ended up having, like, wearing an oven mitt on one hand, uh, playing with one hand, um, only doing running attacks, only doing heavy attacks, not, not rolling, you know, stuff like that was on the list, so... I did a pretty challenging playthrough on Demon Souls like that, but it wasn't really structured in that way. It was just random. And some of it was easy, some of it was harder. I've never actually completed an official challenge though, like a like a legit one. I've rarely even played Demon Souls compared to this. Save so much time jumping there? Yeah, you definitely do. The reason I jumped though is because he did the attack that was quick in the beginning. And if he does that attack in the beginning that's quick, it will mean that he does an attack later that is not the swipe that I can't avoid easily, so it's a lot riskier to continue on the ledge at that point. Uh, most challenging part on this run, Jay? Mm, the end of the game. Cinder and, and uh, Princes, definitely. Also, welcome back, dude.
Aquila Killer makes even this fight remarkable. Jay, what are you doing, man? Stop it. I'm not making anything remarkable. I'm making it possible. That's it. <laughs> Unless possible is remarkable, but... Dude, thank you very much. That's insane. Also, I need to pay attention, so... I'm trying to not reach out. I will catch up. I'll try to scroll up and catch up with everything if it's still there. I promise. No one type anything. You're risking that you will delete history if you do that. The past will not exist if you continue to type. I will never know. That was fucking crazy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Jay, thank you very much, dude. <laughs> and, um... Okay, let me, let me just catch up on everything. Boneless. Kill the giants. Oh, I would never... I could never kill the giants. So mean. Hob has died so many times trying to go around. Uh, the giant, yeah, he's he's rough, man. You got to tell Hob to um, to try the homeward bone strat that I was talking about. How many people in the world could manage DS three zero hits? Uh, anybody can do this run if they want to. So if they if they put the time into it and they have the desire. In terms of people that have done at least an any percent run, anyone that's on the list, uh, if you go to the team that's listed below the video player hit list, uh, out of the people that have like recorded no hit runs. Um, and, you know, like, put them out, out there. That is everybody at the moment, so... Quite a few people, probably like 15 to 20 at this point. Something, or maybe, maybe 50, like, just about 15. I, I don't remember the number, but it's a lot more now than it was. Definitely, and I hope for that to continue to improve. Selzik, what's up? A wonderful round in NASCAR as always. Thanks, man. I'm actually not going to kill the Pontiff Beast on this, because I don't really need to. The ring that I got from him doesn't help me too much in this. Sixteen lap plus pit stop plus seven lap phase two. <laughs> yeah, that ending was just so scary, man. For more than the obvious reasons, but just... Aw, oh, dude. Like, I guess the problem that happened there was... I was swinging into the other... Like, I wasn't going behind the Archdeacon as much, I was swinging into his side. And then the other guy kind of, like, got in front of me, or got in front of him, and then the spacing was weird, so I hesitated for a moment, and then I didn't throw the skull quick enough, then he goes for the attack, and it just becomes all sketchy. Frame drops? Oh yeah, I dropped some frames on OBS. There's been some weird spikes of frame drops a few times throughout the stream lately, I don't know what's going on with that. But it'll drop, like, a lot of frames out once, then just stop. So, sorry about that. Probably throttling or just some sort of inconsistency with the upload, whatever. Your bet is on the beast killing him down in the water, Boar Raider. Alright, that's that's a that's a understandable bet. I guess we'll see. Spliced run, spliced. <laughs> oh. Splicing runs while live in 2K18. Okay, will I be able to make it to this guy in time? Yes. Gavin Quartz, you enjoyed watching play Shadow of the Colossus. You watched most of it live, but you're glad that you uploaded uh, the ending in the videos list. Oh, that's actually just past broadcast, man. So those show up automatically. 
The reason I don't want to upload the Shadow to YouTube is because my audio was completely screwed up in the, the first half of the game, so I wouldn't only want to upload the second half. But the first one's almost just not even worth listening to with audio at all. Would quit quitting out and validate a no hit, no damage run, Kitch? It's up to you. You can do quit outs if you wanted to. You'd be doing different rules than I have, but uh, there's no there's no point to, in my opinion. Most people don't do quit outs on no hit runs. Or no damage. Uh, do I plan to play the prequel? It's called Eco. Uh, I don't really know if I'll play Eco or not. It's a good question. Because Eco is only on PS3 and PS2, right? So if they made it available on PS4, maybe. Or if I got the PS3 version. Once I get my new capture card and everything, then maybe. But I really, I don't know. I've, I've seen Eco. I watched gameplay, but I wa I've seen the ending of it, so that might be a bad thing. I watched a decent amount of it. That's tricky, man. Can't say I've seen back-to-back -back fire trails in that position like that before. But they were actually normal, though. They weren't glitchy or anything. That one guy did splice runs live, or try to, and the people noticed his hand cam didn't match the in-game inputs. Wait, who had a hand cam? Who did that? The Ash, welcome back, dude. Or sorry, Theus. Oh, your name was Theus HP the whole time. You changed it. I noticed that when I think you were in Zeus's stream, and he read it. And I'm like, isn't that Theash? I, I I always pronounce the H in your name. What's up, man? We have solved the problem now. With the back to back to back to back to back resubscription. Oh man, the two time. I like how Zeus is more more uh, synonymous with two time now than Doctor himself. Have you played the Prepare to Die again mod for DS One? No, I haven't, but I'm going. I'm going to though. I'm definitely going to. Looking forward to that. The Keck meme. Oh, is that the clip from the TTS lady? Yeah, we're going to need to save that one. You have to get a new bulb for the hate lizard as his blue out. Try to be back. Oh, for your uh for your reptile. All right, good luck. Why'd you call him a hate lizard? doesn't notice me anymore Elijah I'm sorry man how's it going Elijah <laughs> I knew you were here I saw your name in chat earlier but I just didn't I don't know I feel like sometimes if you didn't just say hi and you're already situated talking to other people or just saying other things that it's weird for me to be like saying oh like by the way hi because I do that too much already so I, I thought that I'd play it cool but yeah I'm sorry rip looks like a fun run Namtar you should try it man when are the Namtar speedruns, or the... Uh, now I'm saying speedruns. When are the Namtar challenge runs? Uh, Kitch, thanks for the good luck. I, I definitely need it at this point. We're in we're in the better half of the game, the more preferable half of the game for me, so... This is where the run is more enjoyable. Also, more genuinely challenging and not just, like, random bullshit. But more so, like, an actual challenge that's just... You need to get good for. Uh, Nash, thanks for the good luck, man. So, we need the key. <clears throat> the $5 subscription. Ha 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 ha. Uh, lovely, awesome chat. Yeah, it has been going well, dude. It's been going really well. I appreciate you guys enjoying this stuff. I was going to do DS1 today, but then I just kind of felt like doing this again might help improve the stuff we had that we got wrong yesterday, or that I had, you know, not had good results with. But tomorrow's definitely going to be something else, so I'm thinking we do a vote between Bloodborne and DS1, and whatever wins, wins. When are they fixing the sub badges? What's wrong with those? Is it like, do you mean like a glitch or something? You're here earlier, but you had to go to class. Uh... It's okay if I just said hi. Feels good, man. Okay, well. Hello, how are you doing? It's so nice to see you. Wow, it's been so long, Elijah. You look different, but in a good way. 
So, what are you up to these days? Well, it was great catching up. Thanks. You ever plan on doing a no-hit damage speedrun? Uh... I mean, I might throw up timers for, for no-hit runs at some point just to kind of measure how much better I'm doing, but I already have this timer right now to check if I want to. So I never really thought it was important to do that. I definitely don't want to uh, include the goal of being speedy alongside not getting hit because they're kind of conflicting. You have to make a sacrifice for one or the other, so... Uh, it's not really necessary. It doesn't really matter as much. I'd rather be very speedy or very, very flawless, you know, one or the other. But both together means that you're just going to be flawless, but not as speedy as you could be. Or you're not going to be able to not get hit, and you're going to be still slower than a regular speedrun. So it's like, hmm. Are you even really... Uh, you know, demonstrating the best of each thing, you can't. PS2 is the first game that I played a lot on stream. Yeah, Namtar remembers that. The good old days. It's been so long that you don't remember if I was good or not. I was bad when I started, when I streamed DS2, the PvP, I was terrible at PvP. Compared to uh, when I had finished playing PvP. I definitely had like a complete 180 on skills with PvP. But I think everybody was pretty bad because it wasn't... it. The actual PvP community wasn't developed as much, and there wasn't people that were recognized as much for playing good or anything. It was kind of like scholars sort of uh, brought that into the spotlight more. More people like started understanding about that and trying to get better. People just went a lot more tryhard on scholars, so I think that that helped a lot. Compared to Adam Barker, you're still horrible at PvP. Yeah. Oh, on on any Adam Barker doesn't play DS2 though. He plays this, right? I'm definitely bad at PvP on this, too. Probably not the worst, but... Not close to the best. I don't like where I tossed that one skull. Londor Pale Shade, rip. Oh man. Poor Pale Shade. He never had a chance. You're also a six month with another streamer and your sub badge didn't change. Oh yeah, yours didn't change here either. That's that's weird, man. I did, sorry, I didn't even notice that. How? What killed him? I don't know. Sometimes that happens. I've never been able to see what kills him. I think he falls somewhere. I've asked people and they haven't been able to explain it either. He just somehow dies once in a blue moon, but it's not really a difference for me. It just gives me extra souls. It would be beneficial if I had to level the character, but I, it doesn't mean anything on this run. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Sup, Pontiff? I feel like I made a very good call on what I did there for placement and stuff. I was almost not going to commit to it, but then I did, and I'm pretty happy I did. Because there wasn't a little bit... There could be extra risk with doing that. Yeah, that was a tough decision because I could have led him backwards, but because he was cutting off most of the space I have, it could have ended in a situation that was not really escapable, so... I almost had to do that, otherwise I'd still be flipping a coin. In a way, he does that big combo. Unless you get behind him immediately when it starts, you can just get pinned on the corner. 
don't like to parry the jump attack, no, I prefer the, the swipe, because you don't have to have any kind of depth perception to do that. He's just going to be in the same... He's going to be roughly in the same range in front of you, uh, rather than coming from, like, a various distance far away from you, and then slow, like, getting closer. I, I don't like the idea of having to perceive how close he is at the same time as the timing of the animation, rather than the animation being at the same distance. Because I have a better visibility then. What's going on? Oh, I took the catalyst off. I think for that fight, I gotta just keep the catalyst on. It's a bit better. Oh, actually, we said there was a, there was a different spot over here to stand, I remember. So we could see... ...the position of Jon Snow. You shall, Now you shall disappear again, but not before saying this. Stale nuts. I eat them wherever the hell I want, right? Stale nuts? What? Easy game, easy run. That wasn't the best pawn to fight. It was okay, though. Got greedy on Gale? No. Not the greed, man. Alright, imagine super sneaky music right here. Uh, Twitch viewer, thank you for the prime sub, man. For the first time in your feeble, cursed life, 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 you have discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy being a skeleton dude. And welcome. Laser, what's up? Lull. Parry the jump attack all day, but not the other ones. I can parry every attack that's parryable on him, but I just... I know which ones are more likely to succeed based on my... The time I've spent on them, and also the variables that they're in those attacks, right? So, there's some that don't have that variable of how close is he gonna be to me. And then there's some that are obviously from a distance. Well, that one in particular is from a distance. That might be the only one from a distance, but yeah. I'd rather... Like I said, if I can simplify something more, I'd rather do that. Just had brunch. What kind of brunch do you have? Sneak increased to 91. <laughs> oh, here's like... Huh. Huh. Da. 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 Huh. Huh. Yeah. And then, like, the perk tree pops up. Is there any way to predict how many times Dancer spins her second phase when doing the speedrun strat? Uh, it's always six, I believe. Or seven. Oh, no, 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 you know, it's, it's like six and then the double spin is the seventh, right? Something like that. Yeah, you can count it. There's times where the game doesn't let her do it properly. And she just doesn't do it. Or she does it... Uh, less times. I've seen I've seen it happen less times before. That's super rare, though. I think that's kind of buggy. I don't believe that's a normal thing. But most of the time, it's the same number. That's a scripted attack. Uh, you know that I can do both. You're just saying that you can only do one. Yeah. Well, I I can understand why you, you'd go for the one that you're comfortable for, and that's why I was also mentioning like I've learned the other ones. But for this, it's the best to do. Whatever you feel is, is comfortable for you. So for other people, uh, I know Colpster, I think on his uh, no-hit run, I'm pretty sure he parries the opening attack. And I've seen other people do that too. Favorite boss out of all the bosses in Soul series? Does that also include Bloodborne or no? Someone trying to get people to use their referral code over mine? Wait, what happened? Trying to get people to use their referral code. What? Yeah, I'm not even sure why I'd spook there. I didn't really need to. It includes Bloodborne, then Orphan of Cost is my favorite. The Paul guy is a bot. You're pretty sure he was spamming in Cherno's stream as well. 
Yeah, there's definitely those chatbots that go around once in a while to put links that are malicious or, you know, spam random shit. Don't really want any of these attacks. Oh, what? He was already phase two anyways? Oh, that's bad. so confused to why he didn't that's that's weird so he was the game was supposed to force him to teleport into phase two but it didn't even though it was applicable to that so yeah that's weird man that's how i was wait i was waiting for the good recovery to get uh the most damage but uh whatever still worked definitely way sketchier than it needed to be though i apparently did too much damage and I just, it didn't, <laughs> the game didn't make him go phase two. He just did, he had all these other attacks before that when he's supposed to go phase two. Which is something I didn't want anyways, so I mean, I should have taken one of the other opportunities the entire time. I just didn't know that that's how it was going to go. I think it's a really weird fight compared to the rest of the boss in the game. Aldrich, yeah, he's pretty weird, man. I enjoy it though. I I enjoy it the same amount as I did since the first time I played it. Uh, first reaction when I first encountered Orphan of Koss. Oh my god, dude. I was streaming, so some people here might have actually remembered, but I was freaking out, man. It was pretty funny. I <laughs> I think it was mainly just a facepalm. Like, I was like, how the hell am I supposed to do this? It's so hard, man. Like, even now, it took so long, so much more practice than a lot of other things to get to the point where I can actually kill Orphan reliably. I, I still don't even think I'm consistent on it to the degree that I know I could be because I still haven't put in as much time, but like, it takes a long time to get good at Orphan. And I mean, like, if you want to kill him 9 out of 10 times without dying, like, it takes a long time to do that compared to a lot of other stuff. Would this be world's first Ozo? Technically, yes. First reaction to Koss, why was he so loud? I was freaking out more about his weapon and all that, and the stupid attacks, some of the weird attacks. Does Jailer's curse count as a hit? Yes, it does. That's why we're trying to avoid it right now. Yeah, I'm not sure how the time frame is for this. I took a little bit long right there. A little bit longer than I wanted to.
Yeah, that was pretty good. Thought Orphan was a she. Really? <laughs> what what uh, made you draw that conclusion? That's an interesting way of thinking about it. Oh, slowing down right there. So the world might be mended. <sighs> that was scaring me. That actually reminded me of something I need to consider in archives, though. It, I, I'm glad that he did that attack because it made me remember something that I need to consider. Uh, Neon, thank you for the, the the prime sub, man. For the first time in your feeble curse life, you have discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy being a skeleton, dude. Welcome. No aggressive rats, yeah. Why you know let me donate your five biddies. Oh, I don't have it enabled for that, but I will soon, Nikki. Uh, like, I'll have it where it's, um... Any amount is fine, but the alerts won't pop up unless it's 100, so people can't spam the TTS lady. Because that was originally the recommendation that it gave me. So Twitch itself said don't set it to anything under 100. If It's recommended that you have it at 100 minimum. If you don't want spam. So I followed the rules with that, but then I, I found out later that Streamlabs allows you to not have alerts for lower amounts and all that. Which makes sense, so yeah, I just didn't have it set up that way. Okay. Is this any percent? Yeah, this is any percent right now. You really want to invade me? I don't think you'd be able to. I think the game's in offline mode. I'm online on Steam, but I'm pretty sure I'm offline on the game. Cool, man. Okay, so the problem with that is I didn't wait. I was thinking speedrun strats, and it, f it fucked me up. I don't know why. I, my brain was in speedrun mode for a moment, and I did the early punish that wasn't the stun one. Because I thought I was going to have... And then I was like, okay, the stamina is going to come back. It'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, not good. I think I would have been fun on any other attack, but the punch one can happen instantly. You can start it instantly. The good thing is you don't have to worry about... You can just run underneath it, but if I was too far back and I couldn't have the stamina, then I would have been fucked. So, very, very poor consideration of that. And I, I know exactly what the mistake was. I don't know why I did that, but it was silly. Very silly. Sorry, Nikki, but only 1%ers get their messages read aloud. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Only 1%ers? What? Master Noob was a PB. PB means personal best. Stormwater makes this fight seem really lame for what should be a cool boss. Oh, you can fight him without it if you want to, Embers. I highly recommend it. But at the same time, the most effective way to hit his head is less exciting than using the Storm Ruler, so... It's cool, but it's just, uh... I mean, unless, unless of course, you want to mix it up and hit his head other ways. I think the most fun Yorm fight was the bow-only run, definitely. Is no damage considered the same as no hit in consideration of stagger with no damage, like Yorm stomp, or is it just damage? So, okay, normally if you wanted to do this, you could do just no damage. I personally am adding staggers as well on top of that. That's a personal preference. That has nothing to do with... The title of no damage. I just don't want to have staggers either. Because why not, you know? I'm already putting all the effort into this. Why not add that as well? You four people, one controller, but how about one person, four controllers? <laughs> oh boy, that'd be insane. Uh, Phosphonium, what's up? How have you been, man? Alright. Uh, yeah, let's do it.
All right, got a little bit messy at the end because I couldn't actually hear the sound cue of the left uh, pilgrim. So I was considering if it's if they're both doing the same attack at the same time, like the worst RNG case scenario, the two big blobs. There's nothing I can do anyways, so I might as well just try to kill him now because I'd be screwed either way. If they were like identical, I'd have to rely on the, the guardrail keeping me alive. But if that doesn't happen, I'm like, okay, because I don't know that, it could be one of like, what, three other things. So there's a higher chance of just trying to kill him right there anyways. So I, I think I made the best decision there. I don't believe that... Uh, I think it had to be risky just in case, um, you know, well, I mean, actually not just in case, but because that was the situation, I did have to stand behind there on that side. But yeah, that definitely felt a lot sketchier. Okay. Uh, let's see if we have fire bombs. We don't have enough. Okay, I'm going to go get more of those really quick. Rick, what's up, dude? How are you? You held your breath? I was holding my breath a bit, too. Definitely. Gonna do the heartache heartache way of the princes with the bow? Uh, yeah, we'll probably be doing it that way. I said before, if I made it there with zero, I'd do it that way. Because it's just smart. Like, there's no reason not to. It would be I would be being stupid to not do it that way at this point, because... Of what you saw yesterday, you know, I don't want to play a guessing game with them teleporting onto a chair. There's no skill involved in that, there's no comprehension uh, level that will allow you to deal with it logically, it's just, it's a complete guess if they do that. What if you, what do you think about boss invasions before they were patched? I never actually got to do them, so I didn't really know much about it. I knew they existed, but I don't really know much about them other than that. Also, I think I'm going to use a Blossom on this part, too. So we'll throw that on here. Really good RNG on that part. Nice. Uh, Nukadamus, what's up, man? I am doing pretty good. How are you? Ahad, have a good sleep, man. Good, good, good job pulling your way, pulling yourself away from potential hype, man. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. Have a good sleep. played that really smart uh it could have been a bit better i did i i think that i was hesitating because i had this idea in my mind i expected the delayed swipe but it wasn't the delayed swipe and you could see because i looked up immediately but i was still a little bit slow i, I did make the good decision there though I, that could have gone pretty bad i 
was afraid of some sort of like rotation, like a back punish or a swipe that he could have pop possibly done. Cause I have no idea. Sometimes there's things that you just don't know if you don't have yourself in that situation. So maybe he does have one of those. Okay, out of archives, GG. So that's basically every single running section of the game without damage. All we have to do is two bosses and it's over. Oh, but they're very hard bosses. Oh, oh man, OG Danimal, what's up? How's it going, dude? Legit didn't even realize you're gonna lurk. Wow, you weren't even paying attention. You're just that chill now. People are like, yeah, whatever. SL1, no damage, yeah, whatever. Let's go, okay. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Tito's, thank you very much for the Prime sub. I hope I said your name right as well. It might just be TDOZ. For the first time in your feeble cursed life, you have discovered the secret circle of the Squilluminati. Enjoy your remotes, enjoy being a skeleton man. Welcome. Keep your focus, don't get distracted. I'm in a pretty good focus zone right now. But you're right, though. Thanks, man. Thank you for the reminder. Um, the only thing to do here is upgrade the sword. I think the pacing of this without having to level in between helps a little bit for the focus. I still think we could get it faster, though, because this is like around two hours now, right? Definitely, definitely decent time, but I still think it could be a bit faster. Um... Well, not that that's even really important, though. Also, I have a bad habit now of always not getting the Slayer Armor bonfire. I just skip over it for some reason. I don't know why. What a beautiful character. It's supposed to be Michael Jackson's face, apparently. That's what uh, that's what people have said. Ain't seen... Ain't never seen nothing as spicy as my runs. <laughs> Thuggin', thanks, man. Minnesota Thuggin' is back. What's up with the female crimson chin pintezy? I don't know. I don't know, but it works. And it's the character for the run. I made the promise that uh, there was a character that had to be used for every single run, and then I, I accidentally ended up deleting it, but then replacing it with this. So this is the the successor to that character. It's following in the footsteps of that character. Uh, and then on Princes, I think we said we we're going to do fire instead. So yeah, just fire. Pro man, you're still level 1, need to level up and don't run around naked. It's probably good tips, probably very good advice. Ugh, runs dead, didn't get on fire. Zero damage, SL1 speed run. <laughs> B-Sweat, thanks for the good luck, dude. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Oh hi Daryl, wow this is crazy, whoa wow, okay cool, yeah awesome, okay, yo dope, this is lit. <laughs> Monty, thank you for the two months in a row, welcome back. Thank you for also using your Prime for that. Uh, and yeah, it is dope, it is lit. I'm gonna buff before we even go in here. I prefer that much more now.
Whew, okay. All right. I was only worried about that second part because I hadn't done it for a little bit. And I was like, hmm. Like, keep in mind this run I haven't practiced. Uh, I don't have files for this run. I never made one single file for it. There's been zero practice other than doing runs, so. Shit, man. Okay, let's see. Anything else to consider? Nothing to buy? Just Cinder, that's it. Oh, boy. That was interesting. You've never seen that before. I'm pretty sure Mop Talk is the person that made that method. You might have seen him around. I think it was him. Or someone showed him and then he used it and I, I saw it and he recommended it to me. Or the bow run. Show off, Depod? What are you talking about? Now, keep in mind that that second phase is much easier than the regular. But it's necessary if you want to avoid the glitchy tear teleport. Or chair teleport, I can't speak. And before you take damage from the thrones. Yeah, I gotta make sure I don't fall off any of the ones in the middle. Princess have given you many heart palpitations, Toaster. I feel the same. I have had the same. Okay. Oh! Sorry, I'm just letting out the biggest stretch of my life. I feel really stretchy right now. Oh. What are we doing after you get this run, Robot? Uh, well, we'll talk about that after. I don't. You don't even know if that's the case right now. We have to actually make it to Cinder. Kill Cinder, see the credits, shake Miyazaki's hand, pop champagne bottles in VIP. And then maybe we'll figure out what we do after that. I Yeah. We'll talk about that after. Now now is the time to focus. Zeus, what's up? You like it when your streams are limber? You're the master of how to stream effectively while also being physically comfortable. Because you always do like the pull-ups and the stretches and all that, right? So Damn man. Zeus is the master of that stuff. Alright, we got the three resins and a dream. That's it. Whoa.
Oh man. Oh. That fight sucks. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Whew. Fuck man. Banana. Dude, that's nuts. That is nutty. Oh, that is crazy. Sorry guys. I didn't breathe enough on that last that last bit or this whole fight pretty much. Fuck, okay. Okay. It has been done. That was really fucking crazy. That was really crazy. I could feel I could feel my my right for some reason my left hand was fine but my right hand started shaking at the beginning of the fight and I kept thinking about it and it was really pissing me off. Oh man. Jesus man. That's it. That's that's it. Heart's beating hard right now. Mine is too, dude. <laughs> like I said, it's easy to ki kind of keep it under the wraps, but at that last moment, at the last fight, you're just it, the further it progresses, you just start feeling feeling, man. You start feeling a lot more. Good job, streamer. You did a thing. Oh, dude. Withdrawn from its vessel. It's so hard not to overthink things, man. It's so hard to not think of the wrong things, too. Congrats. Next boss of the next From Software game. Oh. Kick. Congrats, Squilla. The clicking. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm gonna just lower the volume of the credits. It's gonna lower this a little bit just because it's loud. Jesus, dude. Oh my god. Time for all boss now. No, we're gonna we're gonna stop playing DS3 for a little bit today. We're gonna switch into some DS1. Like I was gonna do earlier. Oh my god. I'm glad I didn't play DS1 today. I was actually ready. I had it set up and then I just was like, nah, I'm gonna play some DS3. Jeez, man. What are the chances? Going for all bosses? I <laughs> We're going for all bosses! World record! <laughs> First time you've seen a streamer do this live. Much love, you're an inspiration to you and a lot of other Soulsborne people, Nash. I'm glad you got to catch a run, man. Jesus. Thank you for the congrats, Nikki. Thank you. Um let me let me just look at all the stuff I just missed. From you insane hooligans. Jesus, man. Um, okay, so... Carbon Lock, thank you very much. I appreciate the bits, dude. I missed those. Tito's, I thanked you. I did. Depod, thank you very much. Uh, Got a TVI, thank you very much as well. Freddy Fukung, welcome back for five months in a row. V-Sweat, thank you, dude. Uh, Drunk Man and Whalehaven with the Prime subs, welcome. You have discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati. Enjoy your remotes, enjoy being skeletons. Tiger, thank you for the eight months in a row. Welcome back, dude. Louie, thank you for the five months. The Kek Kek Keks. Branston, thank you very much for the bits as well. That's very nice of you, dude. Crazy. Jesus, man. Huh. I feel like I've been reborn every single time I do one of these. I just, it's the, it, it lasts for like probably the rest of the stream. Uh, Depending on how much of the stream is left, usually it lasts for like an hour or two, but it's like, if I feel like I'm like just new. I feel like I'm a baby. Uh, that was day three, so if you guys don't know, we didn't, I don't have any save states made for that run. That's basically just a testament of how much practice.